Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to start simulating your majority vote with using Tinkercad. Um, if you're wondering how we got to this point, there should be a video popping up over there or a link or something um, showing you how we drew this using even Jamboard, which is a great feature. All right, so now that we've got it simplified, we are going to use AND gates and OR gate chips. And you can see here, each one of this one and this one and this one and this one are all AND gates. And then we have three OR gates. Um, according to our notes, back when we did a data sheet, AND gate chip looks like this, or OR gate chip looks like this. So let me kind of grab a marker here and say, all right, if this is going to be our first one, this is going to be our second one. This is going to be our third. We have one, two, three, four chips. Now we need, oh, let me write a four here. Okay, we need a fifth. So we're going to actually need two and chips. And when it comes to or chips, we have one gate, we have two, we have three. Uh, on our chip here, we have one, we have two, and we have three. So we're gonna actually have an extra one that we won't need. All right, another thing that I wanna really, really teach you the right way to do this is as you are building, as to stop and test and troubleshoot as you're building. So for example, I'm gonna build this top section, this VST, I'm going to plug this in and then I'm going to plug it into an LED and make sure it works. After I do that, and I make sure it works, I am then going to wire this one, plug it into an LED and make sure that it works. Okay. So let's move on to Tinkercad. We've used Tinkercad in the past, and what I would suggest is since we're going to need an AND gate, I would find your AND gate that has four switches, an AND gate, and four LEDs with resistors and power. And just go ahead and click on this and hit duplicate. It might take a second for it to duplicate. And then go up here and change this to majority vote, and then throw your initials on there. Just to make sure that the majority vote works, right, we want to hit the play button and we'll follow this along and say, all right, one switch, two switch. So when this switch and this switch are plugged in, then our output here is three and our third light is plugged in. Now, I, I actually happen to have um, these plugged into LEDs too, which is fine. So we know this is an AND gate. We know this works. Another way to know if it's an AND gate is simply click on it. Um, I thought I told you somewhere, but there it goes. Okay, click on it and then it pops up right there. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these. We want to make sure that we have power and ground. I'm going to delete this right here. Okay. We have four switches. We are going to go back here and I'm going to call, I'm going to call this switch one, switch two, switch three, and switch four. So what we want is we want switches two and three to go into our first gate. All right, so we want two and three. So I'm gonna go two, bring this around, and I wanna go into here. And then I'm going to click on pin three, or switch three, sorry. And I'm going to go into input two. I'll change the color of that so we can, we can see it a little bit better. All right. Then I'm going to say, all right, so this is one and two. 
this is going into one, this is going into two, it's coming out three. Okay, so one and two, it's coming out of three. So three is going directly into our second. So three is going to go to four. So pin three to four. I'm going to go pin three to pin four. And I will make that turquoise. By the way, I'm going to delete that because I don't need that. And then I'm going to go this T or switch four is going to go into, this is our second, so it's going to go into pin five. So I've got four it's going to come around here. It's going to go into five which is one, two, three, four, five. And I can go anywhere. I'll just go like right there. And I will change that to blue. All right, so now I've got these, both of these created. And I said earlier, I wanna make, I wanna put a light right there and make sure it works. When these three are on, the light turns on. So. There's my output, and I'm going to go to one of these. And since it's just temporary, I'll make it pink. Okay, make sure that your chip is powered. Make sure that your chip is grounded. We can see that. Make sure that you have power and ground, and you have jumper wires going to those. And then let's go ahead and start the simulation. So. We should have no lights turning on. If I turn this on, nothing. This on, nothing. As we go through, and we get to all three of these switches are working. Hey, it turned on. Now, if I add this, it doesn't matter because nothing is plugged into switch one, so that doesn't matter. But if any of these three turn off, that light needs to turn off because this statement is saying when V and S and T are all turned on, then this LED turns on. And when we figure that out, it actually does it. And this is the part where I want you to call a timeout. I want you to save your work. I want to give yourself a pat on the back, a high five, um, and just take a timeout because you've been doing this for seven minutes and you've got something that's working. All right, so step away, go get a drink of water, give yourself a high five, give your neighbor a high five, safely, of course, maybe an air high five, okay? And um, come back for the second part.